Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of November. Um, this reading is going to be jam-packed with a lot of information, okay? This reading is going to be maybe an hour and some change long, okay? I'm trying to do something, um, something you know, a little bit more expansive and a little bit more in-depth for all the zodiac signs, okay? Um, so because of that, this reading is going to be time-stamped so that you guys don't have to wait an hour just to, just to get one message and then leave. So if you just come here for your money messages, if you just come here to find out if you're single and there's someone coming in, if you just want to find out about what, you know, what's going on between you and the person on your mind, or if you want to find out, like, um, if you want to keep hope and find out what blessings may be coming your way, sorry, too much lip gloss, uh, find out what blessings may be coming your way in the month, um, then this reading is going to be timestamped, so you can uh, navigate for your viewing pleasure, click as you please, okay? But um, I am going to be timestamping as I go along because it's timestamped. So if you just see me going off to the side, that's what I'm doing. And we're just going to start right now with your general messages. Okay. What do you got for cancer in November? Um, I'm getting energy of like someone's going to be telling you the truth. Sorry. I'm getting an energy of like someone's going to be telling you the truth, cancer. Um, I don't know if it's something that you want to hear, though, but I mean, the truth is good, no matter if it's good or bad, um, it is it is necessary. I feel like you already don't trust somebody, like someone may be coming your way and you already don't trust them, like you already don't, like, I feel like you already have a suspicion about somebody, okay, your mind is kind of made up, you know how they say, like, innocent until proven guilty, for you, Cancer, I feel like regarding a specific person, it's guilty until proven innocent, untrustworthy until proven that I can trust you again. So I feel like you don't trust this person. They got some truth coming in. Who is this person for Cancer in November? This person could be a bit lonely. Who is this person for Cancer in November? They're toxic to a wand. Some of you guys, this could be an Aries. Um, I feel like this is a toxic relationship, okay? I'm, I'm definitely getting Aries energy because for Aries, I was picking up on a dark empath and I believe I got Cancer for them. And this is cancer. This is your reading cancer. And I'm picking up on the same energy of a dark empath here. So someone here, um, I, I feel like with this relationship, you may have been used to being on the side or being cheated on or just getting like the worst end of the stick. Like you're, like you're kind of, you're kind of all too used to something at this point with somebody. Um, this person's a disappointment. I'm getting, they could be a liar, manipulator. Like they're all the debt. I mean, a dark empath is not inherently bad they could just be functioning but they mostly lean towards the dark stuff they're dark em dark empathy they use empathy for darkness so they could use stuff against you because they feel certain things um and they use that negatively okay so this person could be a narcissist this could be a manipulator this could be a gaslighter a liar okay but um, i feel like that's a lot of what this person is and there's this energy here for you in november as well what is this? What is cancer getting the truth on regarding this person? But yeah, you don't, you already don't trust this person. What is cancer getting the truth on regarding this person? Oh my God, your cards. Hold on. Oh, queen of swords. So I'm trying to keep my hair back. I would put it in a ponytail, but it kind of, it's too tight. <laughs> what is this queen of swords for? What is this truth that this person has? Or what is this that someone's telling cancer the truth? What is the truth here? in November regarding this person. Queen of Swords and the Fool. I feel like the truth is that you cannot trust this person. Okay, so intuitively you don't trust them and then you're going to get some intuitive guidance or even more evidence as to why you cannot. It feels like the evidence is just piling up. Okay, it feels like you already don't trust them. So this is not news to you. You already know that you cannot trust them, but you're just getting like a, a more verbal confirmation or a physical confirmation, some evidence to show why. But I feel like intuitively you already know. Okay. So I don't know why the energy is coming out then, if you already know. But let's see. Um, I don't know. Do you not have a choice but to have this person in your life? Because it seems like intuitively, you're very intuitive cancer. So it seems like you know what the deal is. But yet it's coming out in your reading. So I don't know if you're just not taking action, but you are fully aware of something. So I'm kind of calling you out a little bit. What else do you got for... Um, Cancer in general, November. Okay, we got the five of swords. I see you having a fight with someone or just having a disagreement or an argue, argument with someone. Five of swords. 
I see that you're leaving this behind. Actually, you could be leaving behind some past person or some person where it's like a lot of it's a lot. Of, it's like a lot of regrets, a lot of past hurts, a lot of regrets. It's a lot of going backwards with this person. I'm kind of getting. You could have met them during Mercury retrograde, or you could have had something with them during Mercury retrograde. Because when a planet is retrograde, it essentially, I, I think it moves backwards, like it goes the opposite way. So I feel like it feels like you're regressing. You know, you could have met this person at a time where things were going backwards, like a retrograde. Um, and I just feel like it feels like you're regressing, like you're not making progress. You're not moving forward with this person. It feels like it's just it's just too much pain, too much hurt, too much regret, too much like you compromise, too much resentment. Like it's just too much pain. You feel too much right now in November. So I just feel like you're going to separate from this energy of like pettiness, tit for tat, mind games, no communication, arguments, disagreements, conflict. OK, cannot get on the same side, toxicity, potentially bullying. OK, like I feel like um, you just can't get behind some energy. We got we got three fives here. The fives in numerology are the major significator, the major number, the only number of change. Like fives can represent change in a good way or a bad way. OK, change can be conflicting change or it can be um, good change. But either way, it's change. Something is not going to stay the same. And I just feel like there was constant chaos here, constant change. It was constant back and forth. And it's like you want stability. Yeah, so you are the fourth house um, of home and number four is stability you would like stability this person is not stability this is this very energy is chaotic okay this this is exhausting so i see you kind of cutting that out of your life okay and like i said your intuition tells you that you know better I think I found your title. Let me just, let me write it down. Hold on. Okay. Um, what else do you have for Cancer in November, Spirit? Cancer in November. What else you got in general? Cancer in November. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. Um, you're looking very attractive, very seductive. Okay, Queen of Wands is like also seduction. Um, there's a seductive quality to you, Cancer. People are attracted to you, okay? I see people are complimenting you. And um, seems like you're, I feel like uh, this is good energy if you're trying to find love as well. Um, I feel like you're going to be very attracted to your suitors. What's this Queen of Wands for? I'm getting something about someone can tell a lot of stories. So I don't know if someone, if you're going to be dealing with someone that's a bit of a talker, okay, they tell a lot of stories, they tell a lot of fibs or fables, or someone here is just a good speaker, like a good public speaker. They know how to, how to captivate an audience, how to keep people's attention. Okay, someone could be an excellent storyteller. Definitely could be a Gemini, because that's, that's a Gemini trait. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Sag as well. Um, if you are wanting to write stories or write a book, this is, um, I feel like this is confirmation that you should go for it. This is Queen of Wands for um, Cancer. Queen of Wands and the Magician. I feel like Cancer, if this, if this is you preparing for some kind of role that you're going to enter into, I don't know if you guys are an actor, actress, or if you, I don't know, there's like a role that you're trying to prepare to be in. So I don't know if you're, like, I don't know, you guys could be becoming a leader, okay? The queens are like, um, the queens are the leaders or the queens, the kings are leaders because you know, what's under them, what's under them is the knight and the pages. They follow, they follow suit of the king or the queen of their suit. So some of you guys could be uh, auditioning for something or practicing to enter into a role. Um, I feel like you already have everything that you need in you. Like, I feel like you already got it in you. Like you have this ability. It's innate. You're successful. You're intuitive. Okay. I feel like, you know, I, I just see you practicing, but I feel like um, you can easily slip into something. It does feel like a role it feels like an actress or an actor, honestly. It feels like an acting role, an acting gig or a job, but it doesn't have to be acting. It just feels like you're going to be playing a different role than regular you. Okay, so I see you um, I see you getting the part. Like, I see you maybe, you know, trying out for something and interviewing for something, auditioning for something, and you get the part. Queen of Wands, the moon. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you guys, I'm getting the energy of like a coach, like maybe like a life coach, acting coach or something. If you guys are wanting to be in movies or films, this is big energy for that. Like if you're wanting to be into like directing, cinematography, movies, like being an actor or actress where you read lines, you know, you're on the big screen. Cause I keep getting stuff about like lifetime movies. If you want to do that, this is confirmation that you should. I feel like um, the queen of wands is very, 
she can be she's she has a lot of personality okay she can she she can do pretty much everything i feel like you are multi-talented and you're an excellent multitasker as well so um you know i feel like if you if you're wanting to do something big creative then i say go for it it looks really good for that you know it feels like i feel like you'll be successful cancer okay let's move on to singles we're gonna say singles is 10 minutes What do you got for my single cancers in November? Hold on. What do you got for my single cancers in November? Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles. What is this, my single? Uh, I feel like you guys could be attracting someone singles that's very dependent on you, okay? I don't, I don't know if in terms of finances or money, but I feel like someone here um i feel like you are very dependable to your suitors like singles like whoever it is that you're trying to attract you're coming across as a very dependable person very dependable energy but i i don't know i feel like someone could become very dependent on you very needy maybe clingy what's this nine of pentacles for cancer my single cancers in november knight of pentacles two of wands what is this for my single singles? I want to say don't get greedy with your love offers. Don't get greedy with them. I don't know what that means. If that means like, you know, don't ask. I, I don't know what that means. Don't get greedy. Like um, if you if you got options, then keep those. Because I feel like if you start juggling more and more and more, like it's going to blow up. In, like something could, gl could blow up in your face if you're not careful. So I feel like don't get greedy. Um, do not get greedy with some with this person either. Like if this is regarding money or your or, or love cancer. Um if this is regarding money, this person or someone that you're dealing with is very frugal. They're not, they're not going to throw money at you right away. Like, um, there's a need to like have balance or compromise a little bit. And of course you don't have to, if you don't want to, but I just want to say, be mindful not to get greedy regarding your love interest. Um, cancer, like, yes, they're attracted to you, but they're not going to kiss your ass is what I kind of want to say. So, I mean, you could find somebody that wants to kiss you. You can find somebody that, that will kiss ass, that will do that, you know. It's just to say that these options you cannot be greedy with, okay. They, they, don't, they don't accept that behavior. They don't like that. That's unattractive to them. Um, that's, if you're, that's if you're doing that. I feel like I want to say don't get greedy. I don't know what that means, but I feel like I want to say that to you. So maybe you'll know what it means. What else do you got for my single cancers in November? Single Cancers in November. We have the Strength card. This is Leo Energy, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like if this is not you where the greedy message applies to, then this is like you having to tell your, like set boundaries with your love interests for them to not get greedy regarding you. There's an energy of like mooching off of another. So if that's you, please don't do that, singles, because you're going to turn people away and you're going to, something's going to blow up in your face expecting like, I don't know, expecting certain people to like bend over backwards. And if that's not you, your love interest could be expecting that from you. And in the case, then that's going to blow up in their face. Okay, so take it how it resonates. What is the strength card for Cancer in November? Strength card for Cancer in November. My singles, Cancers in November. Strength. Damn, Two of Wands is such a, is, a, is like a major energy for you in your, in your cards. I forgot I had this card twice in my deck, but Two of Wands has been popping out for you a lot. You may find that you're increasingly popular singles like um you're getting attention you're getting the options like whatever options that you're wanting you're getting the attention okay so like um you're catching the eyes of like people like the people that you want though you're catching their attention so you got options you have options you have a uh, maybe like two significant options to choose from you have a choice to stay in your comfort zone or to explore broader vaster lands to stay with what you know or experiment a little bit but you have the option it's available to you so if you want love it's out there you just gotta put yourself out there or like maybe like get out of your comfort zone okay two of one strength what is a strength card for my single cancers in november Um, you are going to befriend somebody, singles, in November. You're going to befriend somebody. This could be someone that lives at a distance from you, someone overseas, or someone where you have to travel to. It could be like a long distance. This could be you entering into a long distance relationship as well or talking to somebody new, but there is some distance, okay, some travel. 
Um, you guys could be making travel plans with somebody as well, like traveling to see someone or this person travels to see you or making plans to see each other go somewhere. I, I'm getting an energy of like you're, you're trying to make up your mind, but you still haven't decided yet. So you're still in limbo, like you're still in the, you're still in the deciding stages, Cancer. OK, and we got the six of cups. Yeah, be mindful of someone that's very dependent, that cannot do something on their own. Okay, this is like complacency and um, clinginess and like a codependency. So be mindful of that energy. This is Queen of Pentacles for my single cancers in November. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Single cancers in November. This is Queen of Pentacles, single cancers in November. I feel like cancer people, singles, um, if you're trying to look for love, people are going to be very direct when it comes towards you, cancer. Like that, like when it comes to like, when it comes to you, like people are literally going to come up to you and speak to you. Like it's, it's very like feminine energy. I don't know if you're in very feminine energy, like very receptive energy, but like people are going to be very dominant regarding you, not trying to dominate you, but as in like, they're going to take initiative. Like people are just going to start coming to you. Like they're going to be direct with you and initiate stuff with you. Um, and it's like feelings, like it's heart based, it's emotional, it's it's people offering emotions, but like people are going to be very direct with you about how they feel, like kind of blunt. Okay, so <laughs> it's interesting how that's coming out. But like the earth, earth and water are very yin energy, like receptivity, like these don't really come up to people. So it's interesting how that's coming out. You could be attracting some earth signs. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgos. Okay. Is there any um is there any like major option for my single cancers in November? Any major option? We have the chariot. Okay, this is a cancer energy. Oh, you guys could be swept up off your feet. Okay, you guys could be swept. I'm getting by a Leo. Some Leo, like I don't know if you got options, if they're fighting each other or what, if there's some competition to get cancer, get you. Like I'm gonna get that cancer. I'm gonna go get that. But um, I see that the Leo wins, okay? Someone here sweeps you off your feet. The Leo has the, the Leo makes the big gesture, okay? So um, yeah, we got the devil card. Yeah, someone here is gonna make some kind of big gesture towards you. So there is a love offer on the table. <laughs> love offer, let me stop. But there's a love offer on the table, okay? It's up to you if you want it though. I like it, I, I wait, I want it, I got it. I want it. I forget it. I'm so offbeat. I'm like not even here right now. Okay, we're going to say that you're 17 minutes. Person on your mind, 28 seconds. Some of you guys, the cancer on, I said the cancer on your mind. <laughs> the, you could have a cancer on your mind. This could be a cross watchers read. The person on your mind could be a, um, a Virgo because I'm hearing a Beyonce song. And I, I think that's just to show me like Beyonce, her zodiac sign. I think she's a Virgo. Um, who is the person on Cancer's mind in November? Who is the person on Cancer's mind in November? Okay, Knight of Wands. This person, Knight of Sword. Oh my God, I said every, every night except for this, the Knight of Cups. This person could be being very nosy. Like they could be like really into your business. This person may want to invite you over to their home. They may want you to come over. Someone here may want you to go out with them. Um, who is this on Cancer's mind in November? Knight of Cups in the world. They want you to come over and see them. Like they want you to travel to them. Okay, so they want you to come over. Yeah, wow, the Knight of Wands this is what I said first. This definitely could be a Virgo. Um, tell me more about this for a Cancer. Who is this person on their mind in November? I'm hearing Victoria, Victorious. I don't know if their name is Vic. Vicky or Victor, Vic, or if they have a V in their name, I'm getting V. Um, you guys could, you could have some win with this person. Like you could have a victory with them, some kind of success with them. Who is this person on Cancer's mind in November? You miss them. You miss this person. You miss somebody. Okay. I feel like you miss them. So don't even lie to yourself because I'm seeing it right now. You miss this person. So this is the person that you're missing, okay, romantically. What is the world? This person on Cancer's mind. I'm getting this with the world card. This person doesn't want you to worry about them. They want you to feel stable in your energy without them. So they may try to like soothe you or calm you down or ease your worries because they don't want you to have anxiety over them. Like they don't want you worrying. That's the last thing this person wants. 
So um, I feel like they're going to take the steps to make sure that you're good. You know, I don't, I don't know if you get sad when they're not around or something like that, but they're going to like give you some kind of validation or in, or assurances. Okay. Um, what's going on between Cancer and this person on their mind in November? I feel like you and this person could fool around a little bit. Okay. It may get a little bit flirty. It may get a little bit hot and steamy. There could be some sex potential. There's potential for it. Okay. The Four of Cups though. Some of y'all I'm getting definitely a Virgo. You got this person excited, like um, like sexually and just in general. Like you got their energy like amped up. I don't know if they just get excited when they're around you. Four of Cups. Put on between Cancer and this person on their mind. Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person's coming your way. But I don't know why with, with this Four of Cups, it feels like they've got a problem or something like that. Like, I don't know if they got like an attitude issue or what, but someone here is coming your way. They're coming slowly, but they're, you know, they're making their way towards you. It's just slow. This is the slowest moving night in the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. So they're coming. It's just whenever the, whenever the fuck they get there, maybe it might be like 20 years from now, to be honest, at, at the rate they're going. I'm kidding. But they're coming real slow. They're coming in or they're slowly coming around to something. Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify what this is. What's going on between Cancer? This person on your mind. I just feel like someone cannot forget about something. Like with this Four of Cups, someone can't forget about a person or someone can't forget about this. Like someone can't just leave you behind. I feel like someone just can't just leave you. Someone can't just leave you alone. Like I, I feel like that's not in their nature to just leave stuff alone. Like they can't after all that you've been through or all or whatever, after all everyone, after all you both have gone through something like that, like they just can't leave like that. That's, they don't do that. So I just feel like this person is going to be coming around again because they, they just can't fathom why they, why they shouldn't like, they can't forget about this. They don't want to forget about it. A lot has happened. Why would I let this go? So, you know, I just feel like, um, I feel like they're coming your way because why wouldn't they? They can't ignore something. They can't ignore how they feel. They can. This person, though, like this person specifically cannot. That's not how they function. Okay? What else is going on between Cancer and this person on their mind in November? Ooh, Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. What's this Hierophant? Hierophant, Five of Pentacles. What is this Hierophant for what's going on between Cancer and this person on their mind? November. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Hold on, let me sit with this for a minute. Cancer, the person on their mind. I see either it's you or them being kind of indifferent towards like another person. I don't know if someone here is like juggling or what. If you If you have options, if they have options, but I see somebody being indifferent towards a person. Uh, if this is an Aries, I feel like you're being indifferent towards them. However, if it's another sign, they could be indifferent towards the situation. Some of you guys could be ignoring someone at the moment or ignoring someone in November. They can't ignore something, but that doesn't mean that you can't either. Cancer. Sorry, I got a message. Cancer. Person on their mind. Hierophant. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Can you clarify this? Give me one more card on this Hierophant for Cancer and this person on their mind in November. Um, if you guys have been being silent, okay, if you guys have not been speaking, your silence does bother them. Like, it's getting to them, okay, that you're not saying much, that you're not talking to them. Like, if you're wondering if they're affected by it, like, they are affected by it. Like, if you guys are not talking, they're affected. It may not seem like it. They may not, you know, they may be putting up, like, a front. But they are affected by it. Like, I feel like this person likes to communicate. They they do. They are bothered by, like, the lack of it. Okay? It's not that they're unfeeling or they're cold. Like, they're affected. It's just that they're not reacting. This is what I feel like. Okay? So, if you're wondering if something is working, like, yes, it is working. This person is not doing okay. Like, they don't like the silence. If you're giving them the silent treatment or whatever, they don't like that. <laughs> um... I mean, that's what I got for you guys. It's looking like someone's going to come into you slowly at their own pace, like real slow, though. Very slow. If they ever get there, they will. But like, 
you know, 10 years later, like SpongeBob does, right? But yeah, that's what I got for you. Um, let me get a nosy card for you guys. Can I get a card for, on this for cancer? Sorry, some of these are reversed and these do not have reversals. I gotta fix some of these. I was supposed to fix them after I did another reading, but I forgot. One sec, sorry. Can I get a nosy card for cancer and the person on their mind in November? We have words do hurt. Okay. I'm getting sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But that's what someone's claiming, but they do hurt. Oh, I want to get you drunk. Oh, I feel the same way that you do. Okay. Do you think about me too? I don't know if you guys are just not talking right now or what's going on between you and this person. Uh, they feel the same way that you do, though. You miss them, they miss you. What do you got for cancer and this person on their mind in November? Okay, hold on. We got five. Okay, I just wish that things were different. Time to ground yourself. Okay, time to get your head out of the clouds. I need time for me. Like I said, someone here is going to take their sweet time. I don't know. They may need some space, maybe. I need time for me. Um, we have, you have so many choices and options. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I was getting that. Like someone here is going to act indifferent. Like they don't care that someone here has options. Okay. So someone, if, if you got options, someone notices, like, like I said, someone's acting like they don't, but like they see it. I'm not saying they're going crazy. I'm not going to say that. Like, I, it, I don't really know. I'm not really in their headspace right now, but I do feel like they are affected. They're just not showing it. Okay. You have so many choices and options. And then we got, I'm going to just take all four of these. I'm ready. Like I said, they're going to come to you. I want you. You are my everything. Ace of Pentacles. And then here comes the offer. Someone's going to offer you something. I feel like um someone here could want to try to get you drunk. I, I definitely feel like somebody wants to get you drunk. They may try to, they may try to get you to drink some liquor. Okay. Or get drunk. Cause I, I feel like they want to have sex with you. That's what I'm getting. Okay. This could be a Taurus or something. Some of, y some of y this could be someone older than you as well. A love option that's older. Can I, can I get one more card? Cancer and the person on their mind, November. Okay, we got two. I'm going to just take all these and that's it. Please give me time. I've never felt this way before. I can't even look at you right now. Okay, some of you guys, Um, I feel like the outcome, you guys may end up releasing this person. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can get behind a lot of stuff, but this feels like a, I don't know, this feels like a little bit of a mess. I don't know what this is. That's what I got for you, Cancer, okay? Um, let's move on to your money messages, okay? I feel like I could read your energy so clearly. Your energy is always clear, like, to me. Like, it's not, like, it's confusing, but also it makes so much sense. Like, the confusion is the message sometimes <laughs> with you, Cancer. Okay, um... Let's move on to your money and career messages. We might we might finish you fast because I said this for Taurus as well. Their reading was kind of short. I'm kind of speeding. I'm not speeding through these, but I'm, I'm trying to give everyone equal time. But also, I don't want to force a message if it's not meant to be. Um, okay, can I get some money messages for Cancer in November? Money messages for Cancer in November. Okay, we got the, oh, I'll just reshuffle, money messages. Okay, 10 of cups. Okay, so this is a very positive card to get regarding your money. We're going to clarify this. I see that you're increasing privacy surrounding money matters. Like you're not really letting people in a lot, like in on what you're doing. I do feel like there's people, it could be like family, like there's like people like prying into like your information or into like whatever it is that you're doing. Like there's people that want to be in your business, cancer. Okay, so you got some people prying, like trying to trying to dig your trying to dig deep or figure some stuff out. What's this ten of cups here for um if you guys I don't know what you guys do for work, but I see that it comes out very beautiful. Like it looks um it looks like really nice. Like I don't know if this is like art. Um you have a very expansive color palette. But um, I feel like your work comes out aesthetically pleasing. I don't know if you guys maybe do something online. You have like really nice thumbnails, like whatever it is that you do. Um, sorry. I feel like it comes out really nice. I'm trying to make sure you guys can hear me. It comes out really nice. 
there may be people i've been getting this for like every zodiac sign from aries to now like that there may be people that are trying to copy off of your work but it feels like it's a muse like it's inspiring people are inspired by you like people are inspired by your creativity by your choices what's this ten of cups for cancer their money november you're going to have a lot of choices and a lot of options. You're going to have a lot of things to choose from. I feel like money is going to be like an exciting thing for you in November. Okay. Like there's a lot of exciting options. I feel like you have like 10 to choose from literally like each of these cups. You have so many different things that you can do. It's kind of like, what can you not do in, um, in November? I feel like you can do no wrong. It's like a lot of excitement. We have the eight of pentacles and we have the nine of wands. Some of you guys, I want to say, uh, you guys, if you guys are wanting fame or success, if you guys are wanting to be recognized, like, you know, a bestseller book or something like that, um, you know, artwork that that's hung up or artwork that's broadcasted on a wide network. Um, I see that you have what it takes to get yourself there, like with a combination of effort, hard work, diligence and focus, and also perseverance, I feel like you can get there. Like you have the formula for success. You have, you have the desire you have the perseverance, the courage to keep going. You have the fight in you. You have the creativity. You have the options, the talent. You have the excitement, the gusto. You have everything that you need to be successful, Cancer. So there's there's really no excuse for you in November. Um, it feels like, you know, for some of you guys, you may have a North Node where you're meant to be successful. Like, it's just easy for you to reach, like, career success or artistic success or something i'm not i'm not an astrologer and i don't really know astrology placements like that so i can't really tell you what placement that is but i feel like you have the it okay what else do you got for cancer and their money in november cancer and their money in november Okay, we got the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this card wanted to come out for sure. You guys could be signing a new contract, um, a new idea. Okay, this could definitely be a contract. Or a new idea. What is this Ace of Swords? Let's see what you need here. Oh, this is a brand new idea. This is a brand new idea. I feel like there's some clarity coming towards you regarding your money. Like, what's your next steps? Like, it seems like the path is laid out for you a lot. The path is the path that has been previously, like, dark or, you know, un uncertain. Like, you're not sure where you should go. I feel like it's laid out to you very clearly now, like, what you should do. Okay, this is like a, this is like a groundbreaking idea. Discovery, a revelation, or some clarity. Like, this is like a breakthrough. I feel like this is a breakthrough in your career. Okay, and it's, it's, it's coming in, in the form of, like, a new idea. This, this breakthrough that comes in, I feel like it's to let you know that you're ready for something. Like you're ready to embark on this journey or you're ready to do this. Some of you guys, it could come to you in a dream or when you're like really tired, maybe when, when you're resting. What is this Ace of Swords, the Tower for Cancer? Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. This feels like it's something exciting. Um, you're going to get results. Whatever it is that you're working on or where you're getting new ideas, you're going to get results. And I feel like it's very exciting, okay? Uh, the work, your work is going to speak for itself. Like, uh, what, whatever it is that you're wanting, it's coming in. Something is going to be a success. Just Ace of Swords. I've got this, I got a similar energy that I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm getting a similar energy for you that I got for Kant, um, for Taurus, where I was getting an energy of like, they're getting warmer, like they're getting closer and closer to something, to figuring it out. Some of you guys may have Taurus in your chart. There's an energy of you getting closer and closer to the finish line or getting closer and closer to finding, to figuring out like the it, like, like, I don't know. It's, it's like you have everything you need and then there's just like one missing piece or you're waiting for the external to line up, but you're very close to like something, whatever it is that you're trying to attain, you're very close. You're like almost there. You're almost at that discovery. And then I feel like, bam, it hits you. What's this Ace of Swords for Cancer and their money in November? Some of you guys could go into business with a family member. I'm getting like a family business. Ace of Swords, Four of Swords. I see that you're getting down to business. Okay, I feel an energy of like you bouncing ideas back and forth with somebody. Someone may apologize to you as well. I'm getting someone may, may say that they're sorry to you. I don't know if this is regarding your work, but someone may apologize. I keep getting energies like someone's going to copy off of you. <laughs> Maybe that's like for the collective. I may have to do a reading on that, like copycats. 
but um i feel like someone here is going to copy off of you like your work or your like it's like you get this new idea and like someone's waiting for you to have that ground making discovery so that they can bam steal it from you or bam start doing it too so just be mindful you know i'm going to say the same thing that i've said to all the others is to trademark your work or copyright it or something like that so that you know if people try to copy it or take it you know you can you can legally go after them and win, okay? But um, I feel like you're going to be successful in some kind of new endeavor or some kind of new idea that you're having. It feels like a breakthrough, like a moment of clarity. What else? Is there anything else you got for cancer and money in November? Be mindful of like un unclear thinking, like confusion and muddled thoughts, okay? Be mindful like be mindful of the way you're thinking regarding your money because it feels like you can succumb to like delusion or um you know negative thinking or uh just not just not making good decisions off of like a lack of information or a lack of clarity so whenever you don't know like use your intuition or don't make a big move don't make a major move until you find some clarity until you're able to cut through that confusion and then you go do what you got to do okay but otherwise i feel like just relax okay <laughs> Four of Wands. What is this? Cancer and their money in November. Four of Wands. Two of Wands. That's the Six of Wands together. I feel like you guys are going to examine something closely. Like I see, I see that you're looking at something under a microscope, Cancer. Like um, it's like you're looking. I don't know if you're just looking at your finances, if you're looking at your bank statements, but I feel like you're you're taking a closer look at something. To you know, I'm getting. It's almost like you're getting out. It's almost like you have a magnifying glass, right? And like you're looking at something a little bit closer or a little bit deeper. You're you're getting a little bit deeper regarding. Uh, I don't know if this is like studying, like your studies or your money. Um, but you're getting a little bit more intensive, a little deep, a little bit more introspective. Okay, um, you're crossing a certain threshold. Okay, it's past the superficial. This is like the, the second layer. And I feel like you're hitting the second layer of something. And that's why you're getting results because, or for the, for some of you, this is advice for you to go deeper and then you'll see results. Like go beyond the superficial, go beyond the veil of illusion. Use your use your inner high priestess, your, your intuition cancer to hit deep or go deep. And that's when you'll get the results that you're looking for. For some of you, this is what you, you already know this and you're gonna be doing that in November. I feel strong high priestess energy for you. Okay. Like, um, it's like you're, you're, you're peeking beyond the veil of illusion. You're, you're, you're being curious in November and your curiosity is not going to kill the cat. Okay. Your curiosity is going to send you into a world, a whirlpool of information and stuff to help you resources. Okay. And success, victory and results. Okay, but I feel like there's an importance, there's a need to go deeper. If you're studying something, study the, like I'm, for some of you guys, this could be you getting into spirituality. I don't know if you guys are tarot readers or what. This could be you getting into the esoteric. Like I, I feel like this is you unveiling the mysteries of something at a deeper level. Like, for example, let's say, let's say you're a tarot reader. For example, let's say that's what this is talking about. The seven of pentacles at first glance, and if we take the superficial meaning, you know, actually let's use, um, let's use another card because this one would be easier. The five of pentacles at first glance, the superficial meaning could be, you know, you're beaten, bruised and battered. Okay. You're out in the cold. This could be a sickness or an ailment or financial hardship. That's the easy definition. The deeper definition is that this could be a ride or die person, someone that you're going out in the cold with. Okay. Some of you guys could be um, feeling lonely, feeling deserted, feeling left out in the cold, feeling uh, depressed, feeling like you have nowhere left to turn, nowhere else to turn. Like that's a deeper meaning. Like it's like you're hitting the second layer you're getting to second base. Okay. And there, and it feels like there's a whole world of stuff that you can go deeper into. Like you can kind of lose yourself in something. I feel like you guys are going down the rabbit hole. Okay. Like this is almost like you click on one video and then by the end of the, by the end of the night, you're like on a whole different side of YouTube, you know, like, I feel like this is what you're doing and it's really going to be helpful. Your curiosity is going to take you very far cancer. Okay. Um, but let's move on to what do you need to know? You're being challenged to go deeper. Okay, go deep. Don't be afraid. Um, you are the moon card, so you you could you could you could go deep, Cancer. You are very intuitive. You just have to go deeper. Find the more esoteric meaning. Find the more find more mysteries. Be invested in that. Some of you guys may want to get into investigative investigative journalism. Okay. 
What does cancer need to know in November, spirit? What does cancer need to know in November? Okay, we got temperance. This is um, this is Sag energy. I feel like you guys need a break. And I was getting that energy for you for a reading I did, like the la very last reading that I did for you for October to November. Um, you guys need a break, okay? I feel like there, there's some healing that needs to take place. You guys need some balance, okay? There's a need to like get back to you and get back to self, like reconnect with cancer again. You know, who, who am I? Who is cancer? Who am I? Reconnect with that part of self. Okay, temperance is your energy. I mean, it's said temperance. Uh, the moon is your energy, cancer, seven of swords. <clears throat> what is this temperance card for Sag? Why do I keep calling you other Zodi? Oh my God, sorry. Some of you guys may have Sag in your chart. Um, what is this temperance card? What does cancer need to know? Temperance, the Hierophant. Okay, tempering your mood can solve a lot of your problems, okay? Tempering your mood, like reacting, responding, not reacting, can uh, help you with a lot of your issues, okay? If you're having, if you encounter issues in November, problems, conflict, chaos, change, you know, not being able to handle certain things, your calmness is going to help you a lot. You being relaxed, you making decisions from an informed and relaxed and calm space, you being grounded is going to help you a lot in November. So what you need to know is, is you need to make the effort to ground yourself, to heal yourself, get back to self and learn to respond, not react, which we, to put it simply, think before you speak, think before you react. Okay. You don't, you know, really, really like make sure that something makes logical sense um, and sense for you in general, uh, for all parties involved. It feels like there may be some things that happen cancer in November that are outside of your control. And there's a need for you to not lose your temper, to not lose it. Okay. Cause you cannot control it. The only thing you can control really is your internal world. Okay. But stuff can fall upon you. You know, external things can happen out of nowhere at random. So instead of trying to control every little thing or respond to every external thing, work on the inner world. That's what it feels like. Temperance and the Hierophant. Can I get one more card? What does Cancer need to know? Actually, let's clarify. Let me get one more card. Temperance, Hierophant, Cancer. I see you being more private as well. So in November, you guys may be, I think I was getting that for you earlier, that you guys may be getting a lot more private with your goals or your ideas. Um, privacy is power. I feel like uh, if you love it, then protect it by keeping it to yourself. Okay, you don't have to tell everybody what's up or what's going on. Temperance. What is this for um, Cancer? What does it need to know in November? Temperance, the Hierophant. The devil cancer i'm about to call you out i'm about to call you guys out okay i'm about to call you out you're going you're going to hate me i got cancer in my chart so i'm calling myself out as well but i'm gonna call you out you're being extra and you need to relax <laughs> november in november what you need to know is that you're being a little extra you're acting out a little bit and you need to relax cancer you can handle it okay we love each other you can handle it we you can handle it you need to calm down you up here, you need to knock it down a little bit. Okay, you're doing a little too much, just a little bit. There's a need to calm down. There's no need to respond. There's no need to react. You can just respond. You don't have to react to every little thing. It's okay. We good. We, we, we here together. It's so there ain't nothing, ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing out there. We good. You just need to pacify yourself. Okay, give yourself a bath. Go, go, go get some Starbucks. Go get a latte. Go get some Dunkin' Donuts. Go get pumpkin spice latte. Go get a donut and watch some TV. Take a, take a spa day. Go get your nails done or, you know, go put, go buy some cologne, some perfume. Do whatever it is, cancer. Like, ha give, give yourself a nice break. Okay, do the cancer thing and relax and, and just nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Cook a nice meal, okay? Clean the house or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's what you need to know. Is there anything else that Cancer needs to know in November, Spirit of uh, November? Anything else? Okay, we got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. What does Cancer need to know in November?
Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. Cancer, I need to, okay, this is, this is the same. This is a similar message, but it's coming out deeper now what the message is. You're fighting invisible demons, okay? You're fighting demons. You're fighting invisible threats. There's nobody after you. Or maybe there are people that are hating on you, but like the way that you are reacting to something in November, Okay, I'm not going to say people are not out to get you because I don't know what your life is like, but I want you to I don't want you to go throughout the, the month of November missing all your blessings, thinking that there are people trying to hurt you at every corner. Okay, there is no one after you. This is this is self-sabotage. You are sabotaging yourself. You are fighting invisible demons, fighting invisible threats. The demon feels like it's in your mind, like you think it's there. This is like paranoia. It's not. I'm not telling you you cannot you, you cannot believe yourself, can't trust yourself, you know, trust your intuition. But also, don't look for problems where there aren't any. It's okay to just be fine. It's all right to just be okay. Where there's nothing going on, no drama, no threats, no nothing. Where you're safe and you're fine, you're in good hands. Okay? You're okay, babe. You're okay. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you're okay. Just a little bit off, just a little bit on edge, a little bit off kilter, just a little bit. Okay, we get there. I can get there. I got cancer in my chart. I, get, I go a little crazy too. Calm down. Okay, let's move on to your blessings. Okay, blessings. We're going to say that you are 46 minutes, 30 seconds. What blessings do you got for cancer in November spirit? Okay, we got the seven of cups. I got a, I got a call. Seven of cups. You guys are going to be getting a lot calmer. <laughs> you guys are going to be becoming a lot calmer, cancer. Okay, a lot more calm, a lot more zen. Zen is coming to you. Peace, tranquility, quiet. Okay, the, the temperance, harmony. Harmony is coming your way, okay? But you cannot enjoy it if you're if you're if you're making mountains out of mo you, you cannot enjoy that peace if you're making the problems yourself. The peace can come to you, but you could be the prop you could be the one being the problem or causing the issues. So just enjoy the peace, enjoy the calm, enjoy the energy of no more problems, no drama. Peace is coming your way. You don't have to worry anymore. There's no more confusion. There's clarity of thought. We saw that ace of swords earlier. You're fine. I'm gonna clarify this devil. What's this devil card for blessings coming to Cancer in November? The devil and the hermit. This is um, Capricorn and Virgo energy. What is this blessings for Cancer in November? Some of you guys could be fighting some sort of illness or sickness, disease, maybe ailment. Um, I feel like sick. This is sick. Uh, this this is all the this, the star is healing. So you guys could be healing from something or recovering from some kind of ailment. Yeah, Six of Swords can also be like you know, smooth sailing. I'm getting recovery. Okay. You guys could be in recovery from something. I just feel like there's less drama. So if there's been health drama, it's less drama. If there's been family drama, it's less drama. There's less drama. If, it, if there's been ro uh, romantic drama, you know, whatever drama, there's less of it now. Okay. Like you're, you're good now. Tell me more blessings for cancer November. I just feel like with the devil card cancer, don't stir the pot. Don't stir the pot. Can I get more blessings for Cancer in November? Blessings. Okay, we got the world card. Some of you guys are going to be going to a party. Okay, this could be a quinceanera, a celebration, a party, um, a graduation, a big promotion, some big news. Okay, a completion of a cycle, but there's some kind of party that you're going to. Some of you guys could be going exclusive with somebody as well. This could be a Taurus. They could be much younger than you. I feel like maybe you're the experienced one here. Uh, someone here is into you. They're gonna know that they're gonna let you know that they're into you. I think we've got that for your love messages, a Leo. Like I'm getting a, the Leo that's coming in, or whoever's coming in that's letting you know that they're into you. Um, that's also a blessing coming in for you. Okay. Some of you guys are gonna travel. What's the world for Cancer? Blessings, November. 
I just, I feel like you guys are going to be living. You guys are going to be living your best life. Okay. Some of you guys are going to be living somewhere new, moving somewhere else. Okay. Um, I feel like the moves that you're going to be making next, uh, in November are going to make somebody livid. Like it's going to make people mad. Like people are going to be livid about you because you are unencumbered for some of you, you're young, or for some of you, you just feel youthful. You feel young again. Um, you are just living your best life and you're not, <laughs> you're not like, you know, you're free. You could do whatever the hell you want. You could venture out, explore. And I see that you're doing that exploring unknown territories. Okay. You're, you're, you're being, you're, you're okay with being the curious one, the student, the one that doesn't know what's next. Okay. Just exploring, having fun. Okay. You're living your best life, living your best F in life as you should. Okay. The world and the page of wands. You guys could be embarking on a new path as well. A new field of study. I keep getting less drama. There's a lot of less. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot less of something. And I want to say less is more. Less is more this month. So you don't have to do the most. You could do a little bit and still get your message across or still get your point across. Still get something, you know, people will understand or be reciprocal, be, um, reciprocal of some kind of energy. Okay. Um, your reading is super fast. I mean, it's still going to be an hour, but let's move on to your first week of the month. Let me just text somebody back real quick. So sorry, somebody called me. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry to text. I just I have, it's an emergency. I can't put my phone on do not disturb because I, I have emergency calls to have to get to. Okay, 51 minutes and 40 seconds. I'm actually going to use a different deck for you guys. I've been wanting to switch the deck since like the last two messages. Um, okay. What's going on the first week of November for uh, Cancer? What's going on first week? Okay, we got the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups and the Strength card. Okay, so if there's been if there's been something that you've been contemplating about like a lot, like is I feel like uh, it's something that you've been thinking about a lot. Like it's been heavy in your mental space. Okay, day and night. Just I'm getting Four of Swords energy, like contemplation, meditative, reflecting on something. You're gonna get your answer the first week of of um, of November. You're getting your answer. You're going to figure out what to do. Okay. So you're going to get more information. And what's, what's Cancer's answer here? First week of November. The Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like you're going to go with someone new. Some of you guys, the answer is to leave something behind and go with, go with someone new. Uh, for some of you guys, I'm getting an energy of like planning your escape. So I don't know if you're planning to leave something behind or planning to do something different, but I'm getting planning your escape. I'm also getting something about like the beautification of something. You you guys could be beautifying something. I don't know if you guys are makeup artists, if you guys are in cosmetology school, beauty school, uh, or if you guys make something pretty, like you design something. So this could be like interior design, maybe makeup, whatever. But um, I feel like the process is pretty simple. Like if you're wanting to get into it, if you're wanting to get into a field of study, it's conducive. Like this is the energy is conducive towards that if you're wanting to. And it's actually pretty simple to get into. At least it is for you. So um, that's what's going on first week of November for you. I want to say don't sweat the small stuff. Second week of November. What's going on second week of November for Cancer Spirit? Two of Swords. You're going to get results, okay? I feel like there's, um, there's some kind of indecision. You're at a stalemate, okay? You haven't made up your mind about something yet but you're going forward with your intuition. You guys could be afraid, like really afraid of making a mistake, messing everything up, sabotaging something, but I feel like you're going to be getting results. You guys could just be psyching yourself out about something the second week of November. Two of Swords, the High Priestess. You're going to be getting your results. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be the test results, like the results are in, so you're getting your results. And some of you guys may not be ready to see something. Uh, I'm not saying that's bad or good, but it just feels like you guys may be like holding off there's some results, but maybe you're afraid to look at the paper or afraid to look at it. What's this two of swords, high priestess for cancer, second week of November?
Two of Swords, High Priestess, the Strength card. I feel like you're going to finally be able to close this cycle. Like you're going to be able to close something out. For some of you guys, this could be a debt that you've been paying for a while. The results are in. You don't have to pay for something anymore. Like I feel like you're finally able to close this cycle and not deal with something anymore. Okay, this could be like something from the past. It feels like there's an energy, like a reoccurring energy. It's giving me the energy of like a reoccurring payment. Like you've had to continuously do something. And a second week of um, second week of November, you're able to finally be done with this. What is this for cancer? They're finally done with this. Yeah, you're going to cancel something. This could be a subscription or cancel something. You're not going to be doing it anymore, whatever this is. Some of you guys, this could be you not going back to school. You're deciding not to... Uh, I feel like you're deciding not to renew your membership, not to go back to this program, not to do something anymore. Like you've decided, you've made up your mind. Or you're making up your mind. What else do you got for Cancer? Second week of November. Yeah, you're getting your... Okay, first week and second week feel like intertwined because you're getting your answer in both weeks like of what to do. If, if, you, if you're at like a... If you're at a decision-making stage where you're unsure... For the first two weeks of um, November, you're going to get your answer, okay? You're going to make up your mind. Okay, let's move on to week three. What do you got for Cancer? Third week of November, okay? Knight of Wands, Two of Cups. Okay, you're going to be struggling with some sort of disappointment. Um, it's regarding getting what you want out of a person. This could be out of a connection, out of a relationship. It's just Knight of Wands, Two of Cups for Cancer. I just feel like with this Two of Cups, Cancer, someone acts like they're not interested. Someone acts like they're not interested in you or they act more uninterested than they actually are. I don't know. Someone here could be a bit inconsistent. What's this? So we three of November. Some of you guys, this could be a Taurus. Sorry. Oh. Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, Judgment. You could be deciding to close out a cycle with this person as well. I feel like there's a there's an energy of like someone being toxic. Third week of November. Wow, the devil. Yeah, this is toxic energy. It's a Knight of Wands. I'm also getting energy of like you and someone else are getting closer. You and somebody are getting a little bit more intimate, a little closer. So the tension, the heat, the passion could be going up in the bedroom, okay? It's Knight of Wands. Cancer. Third week of um, November. I see you giving in to somebody. <laughs> For some of you guys, um, if you've been if you've been holding off on sex with someone, I see that third week of November you're giving in to this person. I feel like you cannot help it. They're attractive, they're fiery, they're flirty, they're fun. Okay, the tension, the sexual tension is high. You cannot help it. I just feel like you you may give in to somebody. If this is not sexually, you just give in to somebody in a different way. Like you give in to a friendship or relationship or talking to them. Like the stand the standstill, like the um the stalemate that you guys have been at is is done now. Like. You guys have kept you guys have kept your swords up for long enough. You guys have, you know, proven your point. And I feel like now you guys are coming together. Okay. So <laughs> I just feel like you missed somebody. So I feel like this feels like an energy of like who's gonna budge first. You both are being stubborn. You both have your swords up. You both are not trying to talk to the other person. And then third week you give in, or both of you give in. Somebody gives in. Who is this for cancer in November? Nine of Wands. This could be a friend. This could be a Aries Leo or a Sag. Getting a strong Leo, although it could be a Sag as well. Let's move on to week four. I'm hearing this person likes you because you're different. This person could be older than you. They're judging you secretly. Okay. What you got the fourth week of November for Cancer, Spirit? Fourth week of November for Cancer. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. If you're working on something, an idea, something that you're trying to sharpen, I don't know if you're trying to sharpen your skill or you're trying to learn about something, um, you guys are going to be getting help. Okay, so fourth week of November, fourth week of the month, help is on the way to you. You don't have to go at it alone. 
if you need um if you need assistance you need someone to guide you there's a guide coming in okay um to make sure that everything get goes smoothly at the three of swords yeah this is helping energy what's this three of swords so some of you guys could be taking a vacation as well some of you guys could be traveling abroad some of you could be moving it's three of swords for cancer I'm getting something here about like you're gonna sing a song or someone's gonna sing you a song. I don't know if someone here is a songwriter. I'm getting something about someone's voice being very calm. Um, I don't know if you guys are singers or what, but I'm getting a someone may write you a poem, a song, or make you a, a um, an album, or I don't know if you're working on an album. Who's watching me? Who's a cancer that's a celebrity? Damn it, what the fuck? Who, who's, a, who's a celebrity that's a cancer? I think it's Chloe Bailey. Literally all the cancer celebrities I know. What the hell? I know a lot of actresses that are cancers, but um, not personally. I'm just mean I know their sign. But um, yeah, I don't know. Some of you guys, there's like an album. Whatever this is, though, cancer, um, something's turning out beautifully. Okay, if you're working on something, it's turning out amazing. Okay, so keep up the good work, and you're gonna be getting help. Okay, you don't have to go at something alone. Okay, let's move on to your oracle message. Can I get an oracle card for Cancer, November 2024? Oracle card for Cancer, November. Some of you guys are going to get a new car. Okay, we have Depth, Woodland Tobacco. And then we have Pleasure, Belle de, Belle de Nuit. Uh, the what is that called? Belle. Belle is beautiful. Belle is beauty. Nuit is night. Night beauty? I don't know. <laughs> Let's read it from the book. Pleasure. Your desires could be and should be fulfilled. Temptations will also be just that little sweeter and easier to attain. Don't forget to have fun, to do what pleases you and not just everyone else. Pamper yourself. Wear your best outfits just because. Dance, sing, whatever it is that gives you pleasure. You really need to enjoy yourself. It is time to find your deepest positive feelings and tap into what you may be missing because you've neglected your own emotional needs. An unexpected gift may come your way soon and it will be it will hold more meaning than it's than it first appears to. So I want to say don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge something upon like first glance. It's going to mean a lot more. Now is the time to indulge, but be prepared for the consequences should you cross the line by overdoing it. Jealousy is also indicated by this flower, so added care and protection may be required. The affirmation with this card is you have the choice to enjoy. We saw a lot of that debt. We saw a lot of that devil energy and the devil is like indulgence. Okay. We didn't see the nine of cups, uh, but we did see three of cups, which is you going to parties, you celebrating, living your best life. So live your damn best life. Okay. Don't let nobody tell you no different cancer. Okay. I see you having a fun, having a party, going out and do that. But, you know, be wary of the consequences. Okay. You have, you having sex, but be, you know, contraceptive protection because just like, the fun stuff is out there. The bad side is out there, like STIs, STDs, unwanted pregnancy, okay? Drinking, but then there's alcohol poisoning. So moderation is key. Balance, okay? Don't do too much. Balance, okay? But that's what I got for you guys, okay? That has been your message, Cancer. Um, I hope this reading helps you in some way. I hope it resonates. Um, if it does, I hope it provides you with some clarity in the ensuing days and um, to help you easier navigate, to give you some insight and help you navigate um, the month a little bit easier. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye guys.